It is a challenging and dangerous course, and what better setting could there be for a one in a million shot? At the 1972 U.S. Open, the spectators are packing Pebble Beach in anticipation of an exciting competition. Jack Nicklaus, already a legend at 32, is at the center of this story. A slimmed and long-haired golden bear at the height of his prowess. With the 1972 Masters under his belt, people are saying, and he is thinking, Grand Slam. Nicholas, at even par after three rounds, holds a slim, one-stroke lead over defending champion Lee Trevino and Bruce Crampton, who are tied at 217. Palmer is just two strokes back at 218. And for the final round, on top of fast greens, rugged terrain, heavy rough, and everything else that makes Pebble Beach so dangerous, on this day, the winds are blowing gale force off the Pacific. In these conditions, only Nicholas holds his own. By the time he reaches the 17th, he leads by three. The 17th is justly famous, an appropriate hole for a one in a million shot, a killer par three of 218 yards. With the ocean threatening on the left and beyond, the kidney-shaped green, bunkers everywhere, and today, the wind rips across the fairway. Almost in defiance of the wind, he takes his one iron, and when a par would do, he goes right for the flagstick. It cuts through the wind, actually hits the flagstick, and stops within inches of the hole. It makes for an outstanding birdie to win his 13th major championship. 